Hello everybody and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today guys I'm going to be showing you how to use decals to create stripes in your levels. This is really useful for any kind of sci-fi environment or any way you're trying to direct the player to go. It's a great way to do it without being super hardware intensive. So guys I have a stripe texture that I got um, or that I made in uh, GIMP and it's really really simple to make. All it is is some lines with a black background and the stripes are in white and uh, we're gonna go ahead and create this material right here right now so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and type in decal and we're just gonna drop this on the floor like this now you see it does not have a default material but that's okay we're gonna right clip right click on our stripe texture and go to create material out of that and this will be stripe tut and we're gonna go ahead and open that up as you can see here. Now you can see here it drops the texture into our base color, but we don't want that. Instead, we wanna plug that into our opacity. Now the reason we wanna plug that into our opacity is because we want it to actually have an opacity on our stripe. So once it updates here, which takes a couple of seconds, especially when I have my recording software going, um, you'll see it, it kind of update here. Let me hear, let me hit save on that. And come on, just waiting for it to update here. Oh, I missed something. <laughs> you need to click on your main thing over here and go to um, instead of surface a deferred decal. Make sure it's on translucent, and then hit save. And then it should update so that we can actually use it on our decal on the floor, as you can see there. Now, as you can see, the color is not perfect. It is not completely black. If you did want to have an actual color, you could just hit three and then click on base color like that, hit save. And then when it updates, it will be more of a pure black on the stripe itself. And it'll take just a second to update. Um, but you can also change this over to a different color entirely. So if I wanted to say have a blue one, for instance, I can hit save, wait for it to save out, and also hit apply. And you'll see there that it changes into a blue stripe. Now let's adjust this color a little bit. Let's make it be, um, I don't know, maybe let's go for like a, a darker green kind of a color maybe something more like this. I have a tendency to like the way that darker colors look on the stripes myself. Um, just personal preference, really. And you can see there, you get a nice stripe. Now what's cool about these decals is you can then scale them out, and they really don't lose any distortion value um, unless you scale them like a crazy amount. But if you just do a little bit, kind of like this, you'll see that you can place it, and you can also rotate these like this 90 degrees and then you can place those um, up along a wall for instance like this and you can see it's on the wall but because there's no lighting going that way you can't really see it so let's use our other wall here like that and we'll move that up and you can see that stripe there is showing up now one of the things that I like to do is actually um, use emissive coloring to help this along. So you can see here I have a little basic setup here with some multiplies. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and redo this section here. So instead of putting it in our base color, I'll just disconnect that. I'll drop that down over here. I need two multiplies like this. And then on the color, it needs to go into the B channel like this. This needs to go into the A channel, and then outside of that multiply, we go into the A channel here, and then up to emissive color. The reason we do that is now we have a constant B value that we can adjust um, to make the emissiveness go up or down. So if I bump this up to say like three, you'll see that it gets a lot more intense and flat looking, and you could continue to bump this up more and more and more um, to where it actually looks the way that you want. But that is the basics of decals, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson on it. Um, if you did, be sure to hit the like button down below, and also, guys, make sure to comment and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. It's been your boy, Get Off My Beard, and I'll see you next time. Peace!